Dr. Kobe, I love when you come on the show because I learn so much. What are we going to learn about today? Today we're going to talk about how to keep your immune system healthy. Okay, what do I need to learn about that? Well, one of the most important things, of course, is diet. And so what I find interesting is the correlation between the immune system and sugar. I love sugar. Uh. Don't, you, don't, don't go talking trash about my sugar. <laughs> well, we, for sugar, one teaspoon of sugar is going to deplete the immune system for four hours. What? Yeah. One teaspoon? One teaspoon. And so what people don't really understand is when you're reading the back of something in a box that you've bought in, is that sugar comes in grams of sugar. And mm -hmm. that's hard to kind of picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to illustrate it for you. Four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon. Four grams. Equals only. one teaspoon. Okay. Wow. So when you pick up some yogurt that has mixed fruit in it or, you know, um, fruit roll-ups or something like that, and it says 28 grams of sugar per serving, now you can picture seven teaspoons of sugar lined up. Wow. And those seven teaspoons are actually going to deplete the immune system for about 28 hours. So my, you're basically you're knocking out your immune system by how much Completely. sugar. Our entire diet is full of sugar. Absolutely. Look at the white breads that I, my kids are eating. Yeah, absolutely. So when you take sugar out of your diet, the immune system dramatically improves. Wow. So what else can I do? How, do I, how, how else can I get a good immune system if, if I want to drop my sugar a little bit? What else can I do? Well, one of the key things also is sleep. There's mm -hmm. so many studies out there that show the correlation between a good night's rest and your immune system. Mm. So there's sleep. Get rid of the how much sugar. Mm -hmm. we at least at least drop it down a little bit because we are a sugar Absolutely. addicted culture. Yeah. Uh, and what then else? thirdly is stress. Okay. So there's something called the salivary SIGA. These are your little immune system guys in your mouth. Mm. And when you have high amounts of stress, those will not get produced. So if you get hit with somebody sneezing you or whatever, some type of virus. Yeah. Those guys are going to be out to lunch, and you won't so have a fight. So stress also, you got to eliminate that. Absolutely. Well, I am learning so much. Every time you come on, it's uh, so interesting. Thanks again for talking to us about uh, our immune system. Thanks so much, Randall.